This is Brandon Lee with BetFirms.com here with your 2012 Missouri football predictions. The Missouri Tigers finished up their final season in the Big 12 with an 8-5 overall record and 5-4 and mark inside conference play. The Tigers opened up the season ranked number 21 in the nation, but were just 3-5 and five in their first eight games. They were able to finish the year on a four-game winning streak that included a 41-24 beating of North Carolina in the Independence Bowl. Now they take their talents to the SEC where they have been added to the West Division. It's going to be an interesting transition for head coach Gary Pinkle, who enters his 12th year with Missouri. Pinkle led the Tigers to eight straight seasons with a winning conference record. It's going to be extremely hard for the Tigers to keep that trend going in 2012, as they are now in a much tougher conference and only return 12 starters. For a better idea of how the Tigers will fare in their new conference, let's take a look at what they will send to the field on both sides of the ball. Missouri has done an amazing job of finding talent at the quarterback position. Last year, they had to replace first-round draft pick Blaine Gabbert, but it didn't take long for James Franklin to make his name known. Franklin threw for 2,885 yards with 21 touchdowns to just 11 interceptions. But it wasn't just his arm that opposing defense had to worry about. Franklin was the second-leading rusher with 981 yards and scored a team-high 15 rushing touchdowns. Whether or not he can continue to put up those kind of numbers against the top defenses in the SEC will play a huge role in the Tigers' overall success in 2012. One of the big question marks surrounding the Tigers' offense this year is whether or not starting running back Henry Josie will be able to play at all. Josie has had to have two surgeries on the same knee and could use a medical redshirt this season. Not having Josie back will be a huge loss as he became the first Missouri running back to earn first-team All-Big 12 honors since 1998, and his 1,168 rushing yards were the third most in school history. Senior Kendall Lawrence will be the starter if Josie isn't ready for the opener. While the Tigers face the possibility of losing one of their top playmakers, they are hoping the addition of freshman wideout Doriel Green Beckham will be able to provide a huge spark to the passing game. Green Beckham was a top-ranked freshman recruit in the nation. While Missouri also has to replace talented tight end Michael Agnew, they return leading receiver T.J. Moe and senior Marcus Lewis. One of the big concerns for the entire offense is how will the offensive line hold up against the fierce defensive lines of the SEC. It would be one thing if the Tigers were returning most of their starters, but they have to replace three with multiple years of experience. After allowing 153 rushing yards per game in 2010, the Tigers improved to 127 yards per game in 2011, behind the return of three senior starters, which included first-team All-Big 12 defensive tackle Dominique Hamilton. With all three seniors graduating, the Tigers have some serious holes to fill up front. The only starter back is senior defensive end Brad Madison, but they are expecting big things out of Coney Ely, Shane Ray, and Sheldon Richardson. While there are a lot of question marks surrounding the defensive line, Missouri has plenty of talent coming back at linebacker. They return senior middle linebacker Will Ebner and both starting outside linebackers in Andrew Wilson and Xavier Gooden. The secondary should also be an area of strength for the defense, but as many of you know, a secondary can be exposed if the defensive line struggles. The Tigers figure to have one of the top corners in the SEC in EJ Gaines, plus they bring back starters Kip Edwards and Kenronte Walker. Now for my SEC prediction, I have Missouri finishing 5th in the SEC East. The Tigers have a lot of talented players, but so does every other team in the SEC. I look for Missouri to struggle to get much of anything going in their first season in the SEC East, as I have them only finishing ahead of Vanderbilt and Kentucky. The schedule makers didn't do the Tigers any favors. They have to go on the road to face South Carolina, Florida, Tennessee, and Texas A&M, and have two very difficult home games against Georgia and Alabama. On top of that brutal schedule, the Tigers are weakest on both sides of the ball in the trenches, and that usually is a pretty good indicator for a disappointing season.